when you ask your ARAC system for a specific information, like a figure of $4.5 billion charge, and it gives you a completely wrong information, or even worse, it makes up an answer that sounds convincing, but it is totally wrong. In this video, I'm going to show you why this happens and how you can fix it. By the end of it, you will know how you can build a production grade retrieval system that actually returns the right context for your LOMs. Hey everyone, my name is Vinalin, and in this video, you're going to learn how you can combine semantic search with keyword matching using the BM25 method. Then I'm going to show you how you can use re-ranking to improve the accuracy of retrieved context chunks for your rack. And finally, I'm going to show you how you can use hide to make your user queries stronger and contain additional information that will allow your rack system to return better queries and responses. Let's get started. If you want to get access to the complete source code and a complete text tutorial, go and subscribe to MWXR Pro. There you're going to find a complete AI engineering academy that starts from how you can set up your local machine. It goes through the fundamentals such as Python, PyTorch, classical machine learning. Then you're going to learn how you can build a complete machine learning engineering projects from scratch to deployed product. Then you're going to learn about modern LOMs and AI engineering practices. And then you're going to continue with Arax, CAX, AI agents, and agentic workflows. So if you want to become a better AI engineer, go and subscribe to MX Pro. Thank you. First, let me show you where exactly a simple Arax implementation breaks down. Here I have a tiny knowledge base that is directly taken from the previous video. We have the chunk context along with the chunk and these knowledge base documents are a combination between customer complaint policies and Nvidia's financial results get from their latest PDF. So based on that, I'm going to be creating these four documents using Langchain. And from there, I'm going to be using the fast embed embeddings with an in-memory vector store. So this is the query that we're going to be asking, locate the section discussing the 4.5 billion charge. And this one in particular is here within the third chunk. As a result of these new requirements, Nvidia incurred a 4.5 billion charge in the first quarter of the fiscal 2026. So this is again within the third chunk. And using just a semantic search, you can see the scores and the part that is actually the chunk that the semantic search have found. And here you can see that this is actually from the customer complaint form which is of course incorrect and using just a semantic search you will be prone to getting incorrect results if the results are more aligned with keyword search. In short, this is called keyword blindness. Semantic search captures intent but misses exact matches. When your users need exact figures, product codes or specific phrases pure semantic search will let you down. The BM25 or best match 25 algorithm displayed intuitively here by the Confidential Mind website is an approach that scores document based on term frequency and inverse term frequency. If exact words matter, BM25 finds them. This is a very old algorithm that it is used within many search engines. So it is battle tested and it is providing a good way for us that is both fast and accurate when particular keywords are important for your ARAC applications. To use BM25 in your Langchain applications, you can use the BM25 retriever 
this is very similar to all of the available retrievers it uses the same interface and you can use the from documents static method along with the list of documents that you need to use and you can specify k or the number of results that this retriever is going to find for you then you're going to be calling the invoke method using the query so the query again is okay the section discussing the 4.5 billion charge and this time around the document that contains this financial information is ranked first of course we still have some noise on the second uh, result as well so in order to combat this we can use hybrid search or the ensemble retriever how the lang chain is naming this and here is the way that you can apply this you can use the ensemble retriever instance and create a list of retrievers in this case we're going to be using the semantic retriever and the bm25 retriever you can also specify the weight for each of the retrievers in this case we are assigning a 50 percent importance to each of those of course you can tweak those based on your application and then you are going to be able to call the ensemble retriever now you can see that the first chunk is exactly the same but this time around the second result is also coming from the nvidia financial results so you can see that the first and the second chunks are much more relevant compared to the previous example semantic understanding and exact keyword matching is what we are getting with this retriever the right document dominate this ranking and then irrelevant results are getting pushed down hybrid search gives us good recall but we also need precision that's where re-ranking comes in in this case you can think of hybrid search as casting a white net to catch candidates as much as possible that is and then re-ranking is your expert that is going to filter the picks that are the absolute best from the available candidates for our re-ranking model we are going to be using the answer ai's lightweight colbert model that is available within the re-rankers library and you can use it in order to call this here as you can see answer.ai answer ai colbert small v1 pass this to the ranker and the model type is a colbert type so this is a fast for production but smart enough to understand the context within your application and langchain makes it super clean to use with the contextual compression retriever right here as you can see the ranker is created as a lang chain compressor and here we are also expecting the number of elements to be three so you can here specify your ensemble retriever using the hybrid search and then the re-ranker is going to be this base compressor that is going to filter out the irrelevant results even if you have the perfect retriever when your users are asking imperfect questions which uh, let's face it it is quite often you can use a technique such as height or hypothetical document embeddings to create better questions and create and get better context for your ARAC application how this works is very simple we use a small fast lm to write a fake answer to users questions and then using this fake answer we are going to search for much more rich embeddings and hopefully generate a much better response thanks to creating this hypothetical answer now let's see how we can use height in practice in this case i'm going to be using coin 3 1.7 billion parameter model running on my local owama instance and i'm going to ask it to write two to three sentences to answer the question which is going to be the query right here and then i'm going to be appending the answer to the query and i'm going to be using the compressor 
to create the answer for this query. Note that this is actually adding concrete terms such as financial statements, operating expenses and a more rich context that can be used that is more going to be helpful to the rack retrieval that we have. Now when we search with this augmented query we are going to get even better results. Hide especially shines with VAC questions or on large document collections. Let's put everything together into a pipeline with one crucial addition. We would want our model to cite the sources that is going to be using to create the answer for our user queries. So here is the prompt that we're going to be using and this is the function that is going to be formatting the different chunks that are provided by our retriever. We are going to start by creating a height chain and in this case I'm going to be using the height prompt from before with the height LM which again is the smaller Quentry model and from there we're going to be generating this augmented query using this height chain that we had. So this is going to be appending the hypothetical document or answer from the height chain given the question that is provided to the user. Then we're going to be using this to generate the augmented query, pass that to the compressor that we have just created and then format the documents that the compressor is going to be providing as a result. Then we're going to be using our chat model that is going to be answering questions from the user. This is going to be Quen3, the 8 billion parameter model. And here you're going to see the complete rack chain that we're going to be creating. The context is going to be created by the retrieval chain with height. And then the question is going to be provided here in the input and I'm going to be passing in the rack prompt itself along with the output that we want to be just a string that we are going to be outputting to the result as you can see here. So the query that we are going to give is what was NVIDIA's data center revenue and how does it compare to the previous quarter. So this is going to be passed in as a query. And then you can see that the NVIDIA's data center was uh, revenue was 39.1 billion up 10% from the previous quarter. And then you can see the source that is provided by the NVIDIA financial results and the chunk number one. So this complete pipeline is now integrated and you can even have a look at the different stages and steps that are required to wrap everything together. Three techniques transformed our naive retrieval pipeline into a production ready system, hybrid search for increased recall, re-ranking for precision and filtering out the not so relevant results and height for creating better and stronger much more context rich queries. At the end I have also shown you how you can ask your model for citations by providing this within a prompt and the model has actually provided which chunks are or were used to answer the user queries. If you want to get access to the complete notebook that I have just shown you and the complete text tutorial go and subscribe to MX Pro. Also, let me know in the comments below if you have used these techniques and what you have built with them. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Also, join the Discord channel that I'm going to link down into the description of this video. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.